Hi, I'm Lilia. I'm here with Refinery29. Welcome to my dream digs. But wait one sec before you come in. Let's get comfy. All right, come on in. The style of my bedroom, I feel like I would just say girly florals and just like bright spring tones. My bedroom has definitely changed a lot over the years. So right now I think it's kind of the most me it has ever been. I actually was a huge fan of the show H2O. So I literally based my room, I think from the years of like 2012 to 2014, my room was based off of H2O. Who let me do that is the question. Okay, so in this corner of my lovely room, we have a nice 16 Candles poster because, you know, love 16 Candles. Obviously, I haven't taken off my 2019 calendar yet. It is in fact 2021, so should probably do that. Here, I love just like putting stuff up on my walls that I think like represent who I am. So I underline a lot whenever I'm reading. So I have some of my favorite lines pinned up here from different books. You're not like other girls. I snorted seriously and Jamie said he was smooth. You're not like other girls. Excuse me. I think my bedroom inspiration, a lot of it comes from Pinterest. <laughs> I of course have a room board on Pinterest and it looks a little bit like this. My mood board, wall, collage, whatever you wanna call it. I started this last year when I would get like super stressed out. I like didn't really have an outlet. Creating something that makes you happy, that's like pleasing to the eye, definitely was a, a good way to kind of get myself out of like a rut or out of like a sad mindset. So this is whenever I was sad, I would just like add on to it. It's grown pretty big. I actually took some stuff down recently because I was like running out of room and I was like, I don't wanna stop being able to do this. I just have pictures of all my friends on here. Yeah, no, I have a Harry Styles poster. Dear Harry Styles, if by any chance you're watching this, I'm free on Thursday. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Jill, I didn't say that. And then of course we have all my stuffed animals down here. This isn't even all of them. I had to hide some, no, just kidding. We've got an Eevee, because I'm a big Pokemon fan. So, but my, my sweet angel dog, Ghost, uh, chewed her ear off, but she's okay, she's fine. My mom was like, do you want to get a new one? And I was like, absolutely not. That would hurt her feelings. She's still great. Um, I'm one of those people that like, if you don't spend enough time, if you like spend too much time with one stuffed animal, you have to spend time with the other one because like it'll make them sad. I'm 17 years old. And then we come on over here. We've got my bed. It's very, very colorful, which I think is like representative of kind of who I am as well. I used to have white covers and then I was like, this is so boring. I need something more fun. I would say my best find is my comforter. It looks like a quilt. And I love that because it's kind of like the centerpiece of my room. This incredible girl knitted me this strawberry bee. It has a little strawberry on the back. This is a Build-A-Bear with my girlfriend's voice in it. It's very cute. I, I'm, I don't, I'm not gonna press play, just cause. It's a secret. I am totally guilty of eating food on my bed. Like when you're watching a movie, I'll like bring up soup or like popcorn. So this is my nightstand. We've got my little like jewelry box. It actually just has like herbal teas in it and crystals. I sound so LA. To make this more LA, I'm gonna talk about my manifestation journal. If I'm like feeling sad about something, I'll journal about it. Cause like a lot of the times writing kind of helps me process my emotions. So I'm not gonna open it though. Cause that'd be very embarrassing. It's just gonna be like written 13 times. It's like, I am happy. I am happy. I, I am not anxious. That's kind of what the inside of that looks like. I have my collection of Jane Austen books. I've read four out of the six of them. Oh wait, this is really cool. So this was a Christmas gift from my girlfriend and it's my favorite book. But wait, oh my goodness, it's not a book at all. It's a holder? I don't know, what would you call this? It's something that holds things. She made it for me, it was very, very sweet. So now I like, it's the best, most thoughtful gift ever. Okay, now I'm gonna take you over here. Come on. Up here we have all my plants that I got from the Melrose Trading Post. This has crystals in it. These are just succulents. But then up there are real plants that I have to water. And so I'm obviously not that tall. So constantly I'm just like on that little bench and I'm just like standing and hoping I don't fall. One of these days I'm totally gonna fall, but I haven't yet. Over here we have a gift from <laughs> My lovely girlfriend, it just says girls, girls, girls. This was my Christmas gift. It makes it kind of look like a nightclub. Not that I would know what that looks like. It's what I imagine a nightclub looks like. Got this from the flea market, but I am obsessed with it. It kind of scares some people sometimes. Like if friends come over, they'll be like, what is that? And I'm like, isn't it beautiful? And they're like, mm, yeah. No, I love it. I think my favorite part of my bedroom at the moment 
is my new little shelf over here with all my crystals and plants on it. Just like looking at it makes me really happy. This is the newest addition to my room. I'm kind of just getting into spirituality and learning how crystals work, meditating, and like learning about ways to kind of clear your mind and ground yourself. And I, I think it is super interesting and super fun. In this corner, we have, once again, I love reading. So I have all my books up there. I actually have some title crowns from dance competitions, which ooh, feels like ages ago. The one thing that I've had since I was a baby in my room, these little copper shoes that were made for me when I was a child, when I was like a baby baby, like not even a real human being yet, just like a small alien baby. I love reading and I can't get rid of my books. So like I have some of the extras that don't fit on my bookshelf in this little, should be a hamper, but now it's my book place. And I like made this little spot because I just wanted a nice place to read that wasn't necessarily my bed. So it's like a little nook. Next to it is a little star named after me. I think that my 10 year old self would really like this bedroom. I think that she would think that the crystals were really cool. I was definitely into that even when I was 10. She'd be like, where is the H2O mural? I'd be like, we got rid of that a long time ago. Thank God. All right, come and follow me into my bathroom. Here are all my, like, all my face stuff. It used to just be like splayed out all over my bathroom and it was very much stressing me out. So here is stuff that isn't prescribed by my dermatologist. Not that you guys care. This is all prescribed by my dermatologist. <laughs> you guys probably don't care about that. We have one of my first call sheets ever, which um, is really cute. And our amazing PA used to just like draw our little names on it with our characters thing. So mine was a cheerleader. So she drew a little like megaphone. So cute. Um, this is the first time I was ever in a magazine in 17. Fun fact, these might look like regular roses to you, but they're soap. I'm pretty sure Britney Spears used them in one of her like videos because I just watched her documentary and she was like, look, it's a rose, but now it's soap. And I was like, oh my God, Britney, I have, to, I have the same thing, twins. My little mirror with all of my stickers on it. It has a tweet from Billy Ray Cyrus that says, what to heck? This is um, my nice little walk-in closet, which I'm very grateful to have. I have all my skirts up here. I'm constantly wearing skirts. Same with my sweaters. I love sweaters. My baby blankets that I hid from you guys, and now they're in my closet. No, I'm kidding. I just like put them there today, but I love baby blankets and I still use them. My next bedroom space will be my college bedroom space. So that's very nerve wracking. I wanna definitely keep the same vibe of like, light and airy and, and flowery. Have like a plant or two, definitely some candles to cleanse the space, make it feel like home. But yeah, ah, that's so scary to think about. College. Thanks for checking out my dream digs, bye. Thank you so much for watching Refinery29. To watch more videos, click here and to subscribe, click here.